Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers. Welcome back. Wednesday nights are the time for our weekly segment, Veteran Salute. It's our chance to honor heroes from our area and thank them for their service. Tonight, 27 News reporter Matthew Johnstone introduces us to Army Sergeant Michael Cruz. Re-enlisting following a national tragedy, Army Sergeant Michael Cruz served however he could across the country and abroad during his 21 years of service. Michael joined the service in his junior year of high school. He was motivated by an unusual source, his history class. When you go through high school, obviously you study a lot of history, and a lot of our history, unfortunately, uh, focuses on people that have been oppressed. And, you know, looking at that like World War II with the Holocaust and everything, and coming from a non-traditional family, a single parent family and everything, I understood what oppression could look like. And I wanted to be a part of relieving that or serving to prevent that. Inspired by his grandfather's sacrifices in the service, Michael joined the military police and served at Fort Riley. From there, he signed on with the Topeka Police Department until tragedy struck the nation with the fall of the Twin Towers. I sat there in a little bit of confusion and dismay. I felt uh, a lot of emotions watching it. Um, it was a tragic, tragic day. I mean, it was our generation's Pearl Harbor, in my opinion. Um, and at that moment, I uh, went and re-enlisted. Following that re-enlistment, Michael served in various roles across the country and abroad. First assignment was Wolf Creek Nuclear Facility. Uh, we had to secure that, obviously. And then uh, from there, I went to Fort Riley again, except as an instructor uh, for people going to Bosnia. Um, and I provided uh, instruction on how to search people, vehicles and equipment and so forth. I went to uh, Kosovo. Uh, this was all in support of the result in 9-11. Um, in Kosovo, I was a uh, military police liaison uh, for the Kosovo Police Department. If that wasn't enough, Michael worked along civil affairs in Kosovo, ran the AC-130 Airborne Communications Crew, and served as an assistant convoy security commander, moving supplies and route reconnaissance from Turkey down through Iraq. I took a lot of pride in what I did. Getting to go through, like while I was in Iraq or Kosovo, in dealing with people, that had experienced uh, oppression um, and fear, getting to see the change, the change in you know their expressions and their behaviors. Um, we made a positive impact. Through his 21 years of service and countless military positions he served in, there's one area Michael feels doesn't get the recognition that's deserved. The uh, biggest overlooked things in service and sacrifice is the sacrifices that our spouses make. You know, um, my wife had, I had been in Iraq over 16 months. Uh, we have a year in Kosovo and so forth, and a lot of time gone from the family, which placed a lot on my wife as, you know, being a caregiver and also having to replace my role as the father. You know, my wife sacrificed a lot, and anything that I have ever accomplished would not have been possible without her. At the end of his military service, Michael followed in his grandfather's footsteps even further, returning to law enforcement. He retired from the Topeka Police Department in May after 25 years, working across the Violent Crimes Unit, community policing, and crime scene investigations. Working for you, Matthew Johnstone, 27 News. All right, thank you very much, Matthew. And we highlight veterans in our community every week, just like Michael. So if you know someone that we could feature in this segment, please check the Veteran Salute section at KSNT.com. Plus, sharing their story isn't the only way that we honor these heroes because each week, the featured vet receives a gift. Take a look. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to recognize this week's veteran, Army Sergeant Michael Cruz. Sergeant Cruz also recently retired from the Topeka Police Department. Thank you so much for your service, sir. Thank you. It was a privilege and an honor. Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers.